Good morning and welcome to Heartland Outdoor Living this this evening. <laughs> Normally I always say this morning. This evening we're going to tell you what we've been up to and as you can see we've got the smoker going behind us so that'll be another little surprise but uh, I'm sure you can tell by looking at the background the smoker is actually in a different location as as you guys remember the last time we had this smoker on video it was right in front of the little shed in the backyard but uh, I think Angie and I want to tell you about where we're at and how we got here. Got here by the grace of God. <laughs> hey, it was we've been uh, we've been talking about trying to find a little place out in the country for I don't know probably Two six years. six eight years somewhere in there that we've been talking about trying to find another little place out in the country and over the course of fall we uh, we actually went down to Sardis Lake one weekend went camping and we had lined up the Saturday morning with a realtor to go look at three it's different property. places um, down in the Kayamichi Mountains and we ended up what was it Saturday morning we was, we was packing up camp at Sardis Lake and was going to head over here yeah, and the real estate guy called and said um, I just now saw the property that we're going to look at and I regret to inform you that that sold yesterday like, sold oh, Friday uh, <laughs> Friday while we oh, was at my camp goodness. <laughs> we'd been looking for quite a while and we, we, we were really excited about you know, and a lot of y'all know we've got another channel, uh, Heartland Dual Sport. And we've actually ridden the K Trail, which is down in the Kaimichi Mountains, and the K Trail, the K and K Trail stands for Kaimichi Mountains, and it basically that trail runs from Clayton to Mena, Arkansas, and it's real hilly. They've got a lot of tall pine trees, and uh, it's just a really beautiful area. But uh, hopefully, you can see the <laughs> mountain back there. It's just right. gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. So anyhow, that uh, we got off the phone, and of course I was less than excited about that. Yeah, the I was from... <laughs> tickled pink to get to give him that news. Right. <laughs> so I, I got uh, got the iPad out, and we started looking again. And I I'd remember seeing that they had a eight and a half acre track, uh, not too far, but basically in the same area still in the Kaimichi Mountains. So I had. Angie called Randy back, Randy being our salesman, and uh, we asked about that. And sure enough, they had it. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start. I've got a whole little mini-series of videos from basically the first weekend that we came out here and looked at this property. What we first saw when and, we drove up here. And uh, we, were, we were pretty excited to find it. Since then... Um, and of course, these are some more videos that will follow. We've uh, we've made a multitude of trips out here, and we was trying to hurry and rush and get everything done before the dead of winter right. got set up or got here, uh, which didn't leave us a whole lot of time. So there was a lot of rushing, but we've got some videos of us. Um, well, what it was <clears throat> for probably what six weeks. Every weekend, we would come down right. and do one stage of what we wanted to do. Right. One weekend, we cleared. One weekend... We did the outhouse. We, yes. We did the outhouse. That was probably one of the first things. We camped out here, hammock camped and tent yes. camped. We got the outhouse put up because there's a whole other story about that. <laughs> <laughs> How we ended up needing the outhouse done. Um, we what got, is it? All God's creatures poop. Right. So that was a priority. I do believe we have some short videos, so we'll have another video of that. But basically, throughout the videos that we're going to... You probably may even be watching some of them while we're still talking. Because we're going to be showing you some of that. We're going to have some videos to come showing you. We uh, brought the smoker out here. We built a little outdoor kitchen and table. By we, he means he. Well, you were helping. It. Not, not this one. Well, you were sleeping. Yeah. She, she was in the <laughs> I was asleep. <laughs> but we'll, we'll have some videos, and 
a lot of these videos we're basically just going to show you what we're doing not so much a how-to um, but we did end up we built the outhouse a little outdoor kitchenette Kitchen. table yep. and then the whole idea was we were going to build a uh, little shed that we could store some tools in now granted all this property up here is is totally off grid there's no yeah. phone there's no electric the closest electric's five miles away yeah. and i've got a austin a cousin of mine he's he actually works for a underground drilling and uh and does electric installs cable installs and stuff like that he's been out to our property in fact he's the only person who's been out here uh to help at all but he uh he was b basically said, yeah, well, you're out of luck. And, and we knew that. We knew when we when we bought this piece of property, it was going to be totally off-grid. And again, our ultimate goal and our ultimate plan is to we're going to build a cabin up here and have a totally off-grid cabin that we could potentially retire to. Or if, uh, worst case scenario, something really bad happens, we'd have a place that, number one's debt-free and then totally off-grid that we wouldn't have to worry about how we're going to pay the electric bill or anything like right. that because there's not going to be an electric bill up here. The uh, road getting here is pretty rough and <laughs> I'll try to, <laughs> I will try to get some video footage of the road because it's, when I say it's rough, it's rough. It's, uh, it's rough. It's worth, it's worth every it, it amount of rough but it, it is you have to really want to get here right <laughs> right yeah. we've already figured out that uh, just building a shed it cost us almost four thousand dollars probably yeah we had it um on paper right on paper at about what sixteen seventeen hundred between sixteen and sixteen hundred to two thousand just and, not so uh, right yeah by the time you do the tax and everything else, we're almost into it, $4,000. Well, you know what? It's worth every penny. It is a nice shed. It, we, it's not a shed. We built it, uh, it's 12 by 16, and we'll we'll throw in some pictures here throughout this video also, since we're talking about it right now. No, that'll be a whole nother video. <laughs> we'll have a whole nother video on that, but we're gonna try to keep this video short. Again, uh, we look forward to bringing you a lot more videos because we're going to have a lot yep. more to do that we're going to have uh like i said we'll we'll do a mini video on the bringing the little outhouse out getting it set up uh getting our little campground and what we were doing while we was building the shed and actually right now what we are doing is we're basically staying in the shed until we get the cabin started it's not a shed <laughs> we're tossing the idea of maybe buying a sawmill we do have a lot of dead trees up here and a lot of deadfall that we can actually saw up and use for uh, siding, siding trim yeah. and, and potentially a house. We're, and and that's one of the things that we're weighing heavily on is uh, maybe getting a sawmill up here as well. So anyhow, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes, and may you have a blessed week.